guys, what's up? Marcus Patrick here, uh, playing Jet on Days of Our Lives. I'm originally from England. I first came over speaking the Queen's English, much like EJ, but it didn't quite work for me. So I had to learn quick how to get an American accent. On uh, Days of Our Lives, I'm an American. No, I knew I wanted to be an actor ever since I was like 12 years old, and I developed an obsession for Bruce Lee. Um, I was into martial arts young. My dad's a karate teacher. And... Um, I just started watching all the martial arts movies and I was like, man, that's what I want to do. I want to be an action hero. My acting was something I really wanted to pursue, so I left England, came to America, and uh, fought my way to the top. I'm looking forward to some more like action scenes, like fight scenes and stuff. I think the worst day I've ever had is probably about 35, 40 pages. Yesterday I was really lucky, and I came in, I had no lines, I just had to be a secret agent and spy at the back of the plane, one scene and went home. The reason why I can relate to Jack Carver is because, um, you know, he is obviously a spy undercover. And I was kidnapped a lot as a child. My mom kidnapped me and my younger sister to the United States. I really want to use this career as a vehicle to help give back, not just to kids either, to people from any walks of life who may have struggled and uh, just need to feel that there is hope for them and there is love in the world because I had a tough childhood and if it weren't for certain key people reaching out to me and giving me love I'd be dead by now. You've convinced me to show you a little workout routine. I mean this is just a touch up. I do my martial arts right now more for um for the movies. I'm killing myself to make you happy. <laughs> God has just told Marcus Patrick to stand by. It's time to go. Set. All right, we're going to make it real quick. Yeah, because I've I got some big lips that get a little dry, so I'm come in here and steal a little bit of this. You have to catch me while I'm on set in between, okay? I'll try and talk to you. You have to keep quiet now. Oh, I'm still in the Although I have to be aware of the cameras, I like to forget they're there and just in, involve myself in what I'm doing. It's to try and be as natural as possible, but the way to do that is to be really, really focused on your scene. If I believe it myself, then I'm, then I'm in the scene. This is Marcus Patrick signing out, aka Jack Carver on Days of Our Lives. Tune in every day. NBC, make us the number one soap. Support us, we need you. Uh, that's it for me. You've had enough time in my dressing room, so... Out you go. <laughs> See you on the show. Come on in. Working on this show or any soap opera is like being paid to take an audition tech class. Um, you get one take to do everything the night before to get the line, so it really is good for that. I graduated from high school in 2003 in Phoenix and then um, basically, you know, decided to come out to LA. It, it was kind of like a, I didn't really know if I wanted to because I wanted to be an interior designer or something along those lines and came out here basically on a whim and it kind of worked out. I'm constantly wanting to be better and better and even if something was good I always know that I can do better and I think that that tends to make for like a, a really good actor you know because they're really hard on themselves and when you're hard on yourselves you only achieve great things. I've had lots of embarrassing moments on set. I'm a, I'm a terrible klutz. Love scenes are kind of an uncharted territory for me right now. I haven't done one in a really long time. I wouldn't say love, I'm seeing somebody. I, I'm boy crazy, that's I am always keeping my options open. No I love yous have been dropped, so.
The thing with Chelsea and Nick is, I wish we could have enjoyed them as a couple a little bit longer before, you know, turmoil and sabotage and all that other stuff started to come up. I don't feel like Chelsea has any real extracurricular activities, and I'd like to see them maybe elaborate a little bit more on that so we get some insight to her personality. When Chelsea first came to Salem, she was kind of a bit of a rebel, um, really inexperienced, kind of childish, rebellious. I think over time she's kind of grown up, and in growing up she's kind of become a little more patient and understanding and compassionate. Um, I think she's a girl, like, in her early 20s, like, it's always about me, me, me. Um, I should know. <laughs> I'm going to say it in American is respirare, which is um, Italian for breathe, because I always forget to do that. And, um, you know, it's nice to have a, a man to come home to. <laughs> I don't have an exciting personal life. <laughs> I don't. I'm not interesting at all. <laughs> now there's two different hallways you can go down. The hot boys are down there, and I'm down there. Did it to me on purpose because I'm all boy crazy. This is where we get beautified in the morning. Here. Until I got this job, I never wore makeup or did anything with my hair, and now underneath my bathroom cabinets pretty much looks like that countertop. So it's a little scary. This is the casino set. I'm gonna go to work, but I will be right back with you guys later. Max may not be steady, but um... And you'll be right here. Now you'll be on this side. Right now we're on a five. I like to take the time to go get 20 rolls from the pot room. I think I had three scripts one day. Yeah, on my birthday. It was like 80. These are our schedules. We've gone through all of these, and we have four more on the first page than all of those, so it's gonna be a long day today. Thanks for stopping by and hanging out with us, you guys. Make sure you continue to watch Days of Our Lives weekdays on NBC. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to ask you to leave so that I can catch up on my gossip. But thanks. Now get out. <laughs>